How's it going everybody? Datodoy here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And because the open beta for this game is coming out later on tonight, I wanted to talk about fighting games in general and what makes them uniquely frustrating. Now if you're coming to fighting games from MOBAs like League of Legends and Dota 2, the first thing you'll notice is obviously that you don't have any teammates. And no matter how obvious it is, it is an important distinction between fighting games and a lot of other games that are played competitively. Games like CSGO and League of Legends are made up of teams of five, and the accomplishments and the failures of those teams are split up amongst all five members of the team and sometimes even a coach. So one of the first things you're going to notice when playing by yourself and really trying to win is that the wins will feel a lot better and the losses will sting a lot harder. And it's in those losses where you'll find most of your improvement. But in order to do that, you have to allow yourself a certain amount of room to lose without getting too angry with yourself. Thinking about your losses critically is always going to help more than just blaming the opponent for doing something cheap. A lot of new players have this problem. For example, you'll hear a lot of newcomers complain about projectile type moves and opponents using them while running away. But really, those types of strategies aren't foolproof, especially in Dragon Ball Fighters. If someone's keeping you away from them using Key Blast, you can just use the homing dash and go right through them. And if they use a beam, you can just jump over them or vanish. But these are things that you have to learn by experimenting in the game and playing against these types of players over and over again and losing until you find out how to win. And this isn't even the only aspect of fighting games that's frustrating that takes time to get over. There's also the added on pressure of learning your character to a point where you don't have to think about combos and special moves in order to perform them. That becomes especially prevalent when you remember that you have to learn three characters in this game. There's nothing worse than going into training mode for a couple of hours and practicing one combo over and over again on both sides of the opponent to get it down to a T, and then going online and realizing that you're too scared to perform it in an actual match. This leads to players, in a way, having to practice the same combo at least twice for an extended period of time. But when you finally pull everything together, and you know all of your characters, and you know all the ins and outs of your combos and special moves, and you've analyzed a lot of your losses, and you know your opponent's team, nothing feels better than winning a close match with somebody that's an equal to you. And I know at this point I've made it sound like fighting games aren't even a game at this point, they're just something that you do as a project. But really a lot of the things I listed don't have to be practiced intentionally. If you just genuinely enjoy the game, you'll improve over a period of time naturally. And strangely enough, this is where I see a lot of problems in new players. They want to be the best before they can even have hands-on time with the game. And they end up putting so much pressure on themselves to win every match they play. And that's just not realistic, even for the most seasoned fighting game veterans. There will be a lot of times when you'll lose to something that you know you should beat. It's happened to me more times than I'd like to admit. But you just can't let those losses burn you out. That's why I always say that my number one tip to getting better at a fighting game is to just genuinely enjoy playing the game. Because if you enjoy playing it, you'll just get better naturally. But if you force yourself to meet these unrealistic goals, then you're going to start getting burned out quick. And it would be a shame to start hating a game because you loved it enough that you wanted to be the best at it. But really, that's all I had to say for this video. Hopefully you guys have a lot of fun in the beta later on tonight and for the next couple of days. I know I'll be having a ton of fun. And I wanted to ask you guys, what's the one thing you're most excited about for trying in the open beta? Me personally, I can't wait to play some Krillin against Nappa and seeing if there's a dramatic intro where Krillin kills all the Cybermen before facing Nappa. But if you want to leave me your favorite thing, do so in the comments below. I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you like this video and channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.